How do you define greatness? And what does an athlete have to do to be considered great? Do they need a stellar record? A winning celebrity personality? A flair for interviews? Or a respectable personal life? And who decides which athletes become beloved, legendary, and which are just considered a bore and fade into obscurity? Kamaro Usman is the current UFC welterweight champion who has remained undefeated since he joined the organization in 2015. A Nigerian-American immigrant who's fought through pain and poverty to the heights of championship, Usman has faced and defeated some of the biggest names in the welterweight division, and as of 2020, sits at number 5 on the UFC men's pound-for-pound -pound rankings. Despite this, Usman raises mixed feelings among fans and pundits, making him one of the more divisive fighters active today. He's sometimes described as less entertaining to watch than other champions despite his winning record, and his career earnings reflect his lack of celebrity status among other fighters in the UFC. His short time in the organization has brought him fame, but has it brought him fortune? And which is more important to a fighter's longevity? Like, share, and subscribe to the Ultimate Fighting Network as we find out how Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare Usman, spends his millions. Kamaru Usman has been fighting under the UFC banner since late 2015. Before that, he fought for a few smaller organizations but did not gain traction until he joined the UFC. He made his winning debut against Leon Edwards with a purse of 26500 12000 to show, 12000 to win, and a $2,500 Reebok sponsorship. Usman's salary quickly doubled, but despite his contender status, his purses remained in five figures until his championship bout against Tyron Woodley in 2019, which netted him a cool $380,000, as well as the welterweight title. Usman's largest purse to date was the $640,000 he won against Jorge Masvidal in 2020. Usman has collected two fight night bonuses at $50,000 each. He's also collected Reebok sponsorship money and fight week incentive pay. Usman has an endorsement deal with Trifecta, a UFC-backed nutrition program, but any funding he collects from this endorsement is undisclosed. It doesn't appear that Usman has any other irons in the fire regarding business ventures outside of the UFC. In 2015 and again in 2018, Usman appeared on the UFC-produced show The Ultimate Fighter, winning multiple matches and collecting hundreds of thousands in prize money. His largest purse from the Ultimate Fighter was $205,000 against Rafael Dos Anjos in 2018. Kamara Usman's career earnings from his time in the UFC are estimated at $2.5 million, and if you include his other assets and endorsement money, his net worth sits at an estimated $3 million. So, how does the Nigerian nightmare spend his millions? Usman's net worth is a small fortune, but compared to other champions and celebrities in the UFC, he doesn't have countless millions to spread around. But what he does have, he seems to consider very carefully, explaining that he feels a responsibility, born out of his difficult past, to provide for his family and others in his community. There's this thing to where you, you get to a point where you have to, you're the guy who has to provide. You're the guy who has to hold up. And it's not, not necessarily people saying you have to do it, but you, you, you feel that sense of responsibility. You know, and, and in, in my family, I, I felt that. I, I feel that sense of responsibility. Usman and his family live in Boca Raton, Florida, and he trains at nearby Deerfield Beach. Usman is private about the location and type of his home, but judging by the area, it's likely that the house is quite large and full of amenities, especially considering what Usman has in the garage. A self-professed car guy, Usman's pride and joy is a small collection of luxury vehicles, including a Lamborghini Urus SUV, a Rolls-Royce Ghost, and a fully upgraded Street 750 Harley-Davidson motorcycle that he affectionately calls Charmaine. Usman has been involved with charity work for the last few years and has plans to start a foundation to give back to the communities that raised him. Usman lived in Nigeria until age 8 before immigrating to America, and he understands the need in the country of his birth as his family did not have electricity or plumbing in those days. He hopes that his presence in the UFC will be an inspiration to kids growing up just like he did and wants to give back in whatever way he can. Usman has also been outspoken on the subject of prison reform since revealing that his father has been unfairly incarcerated for over a decade on fraud-related charges. Knowing that his father and the other inmates at the prison cheer him on from inside fills Usman with a sense of purpose and passion to win that he wouldn't otherwise have, and he hopes to raise awareness about what he perceives to be pitfalls in the justice system, using his father's story as an example. 
Kamaru Usman is a divisive champion. It would be difficult to argue with his perfect record, but at the same time, some UFC fans and pundits don't find him engaging to watch, and his career earnings reflect the way the organization sees him. Usman doesn't have multiple millions in the bank, and it begs the question, what role does celebrity play in the worth of a champion? Is it all about the winning record, or is there something else missing? Regardless, Usman has made a name for himself in the UFC, and until he loses his belt or retires, he will reign as the welterweight champion, earning more money and facing more of the biggest names in the business. Celebrity or not, entertaining or not, Kamaru Usman has made his millions and feels the weight of his responsibility to use them wisely. What do you think about Kamaru Usman? Comment below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching The Ultimate Fighting Network.